wanted to ask you about your new book, not your new new book, right. <laughs> Honest Engine, which is forthcoming um, in the winter. Can you just tell us a little bit about those poems? Yeah, so I think that's, those are my first adult poems, because uh, all my other books I published in my 20s. So this is the first book that I will have published um, again after crossing over. So there's that, um, and the book also comes after a period where I lost a number of uh, family members and close friends. And um, you know, my, my grandmother, who lived, was one of the people I lost, and she lived to be 87. Um, and she would always say, as she got older, um, one of the most difficult things was to be the survivor, you know, to be the person left, um, to think about you know, the world um, that exists after these people are gone. And so it was the first time when I was really in that position of like being a survivor. Um, and it was often happening in rapid, rapid succession. I was like losing someone every two weeks. And, um, you know, it really forced me to rethink. And actually, it's what led me to the new, new book, although those poems aren't in the new book. Um, just about of what, I, of, of what I know of the world, how much of that um, are things that I've actually looked into and questioned myself and, uh, and myself and arrived at some conclusion and what are the things that I've received. And so that's sort of like the idea of the honest engine, like the book is the honest engine. Like I'm putting all this, you know, uh, raw fuel into the honest engine and seeing like what comes out, like at the end of it, you know, what do I still believe on the other side um, of all this adult experience? So there, there are poems about, actually there, there are many more poems about death in the book. And as I started to arrange the poems and think about it, um, I realized it's not really about death, it's about questioning, you know, because questions lead to honesty. Um, so as I rearranged things, some of the, the elegies um, and different contemplations of death came out. And um, like I think the one poem, it's now the last poem, it might be the most representative poem in the book. It's a poem called Pale Blue Dot, and it's about the, uh, the Voyager spacecraft. And I don't know if you know, there's the, the image, the, the like, but when they thought many years ago um, Voyager was about to pass out of the solar system, they turned it around so it could take one last picture. And so there's this, you know, huge swath of black, a couple of bands of light. And then way in the distance is a, a, little, a little blue speck, that's Earth. Um, and I imagine thinking about that, like, you know, I mean, I know it's a machine, but you know, what does that feel like to see everything you know that small and also knowing you're about to cross over into the unknown? Um, so that's what I sort of feel like right now. I feel like Voyager. Um, the other books are that snapshot um, in the past life is far, far in the distance and I can recognize it and it seems so small. And then at my back, which I can't see yet because I haven't been turned back around, uh, it's this huge expanse of unknown. Um, and sort of the book is right at the cusp of that. Um, and of course, like one of the things behind me is uh, all this contemplation of masculinity. So that's something that's back there, but I don't know what else is back there. Did you uh, feel like your language had to change in Honest Engine to um, conform to the task you had set out to, for yourself? Um, yeah, honestly, I would say, I, I, so I, I would agree with you that maybe Maybe the language and the listening is a little acrobatic. I'll, I'll, I'll admit that. Um, but as I've gone on, for me, the most important goal um, for my poetry is to communicate. So it's actually been finding a balance between what is showy and what is clear, you know, what is accessible immediately. Um, because my grandmother, my grandmother took my, I'm trying to think when she, I think it's my second book, because she passed away around the time that my, but she took my second book and she said, she sat down with um, some of her friends with a dictionary and they said that they were going to go through the book and, until they understood every poem. And I, I really loved her for that, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't know if I want to be writing books that my grandmother has to sit down with the dictionary and parse through for 
hours upon hours until she figures everything out. Um, and so now I try to have the images do more work than the language because I think everyone can grasp an image even if you're not you know familiar with exact vocabulary um, so that's how the language change is more so focused on an awareness of the fact that there's another human being on the other side and more than anything the most important thing isn't how I want the poem to sound but it's what it communicates to that person on the other side of the page you know poetry isn't a conversation between me and the page it's between the poem and the reader. It's a, it's a conversation between me and the reader via the poem. Um, and so that's the most important relationship between the poem and the reader. Um, and so now my language um, is more so focused on making sure that that experience is as rich and clear as possible.